And MSSP is a managed security services provider. It is what it sounds. We provide security services to different companies, varied security services, vulnerability management, threat detection on the dark web, managing firewalls, security operations center. Security operations center, and they're known as a SOC, is exactly what you see right here behind me. It is an environment where they are monitoring our clients' networks 24 by 7. It has to be fully ergonomically built. So you see the big screens and the individual screens. So it is a, a combination of people, process, and technology. We work on dedicated shift patterns, how we alarm, how we triage, when do we alert. It is a full center. You get people that care about your company as much as you do. Uh, people that ultimately become part of your, integrate into your team entirely and become trusted advisors rather than just another coworker, just another, uh, another middleman. Choosing an MSSP is very personal and you need to spend a lot of time uh, talking to us so that we can understand how you operate as a business, how your team operates, what's the level that your team is, so in terms of their skill set. Uh, are you growing your team? Do you want support around that? And so you need to start by understanding what technical support you have and then also the internal support. So once you've got that, then you can come and talk to us and we'll spend some time kind of helping you build a roadmap based around your priorities. It's really important that you treat this like a partnership. If you don't, you're not gonna be able to get uh, what you're looking for when you'll be asking to be protected. So what we do do here, and always check them MSSV, that we are 24 seven. From the cloud acceleration point of view, we have customers for which goes on a hybrid journey. As an MSSP, what we make sure that we monitor their hybrid environment. Because moving to the cloud, takes time. It's with a legacy environment. We need to make sure wherever the customer is moving, we are monitored. So uh, we have customers with multi-cloud environment who are in all places, AWS, Google, Azure, but we don't look at where they are. We look at what they are hosting there. So when it comes to picking an MSSP, I think it's important to consider all of the needs and requirements that your organization has specifically and leverage and partner with an organization that can meet a variety of those, of those requirements. What ends up happening a lot of the time and what our customers tell us is that um, very, very quickly, they can end up dealing with too many vendors, too many different relationships that end up putting a lot of work back onto their plates. Cyber incident analytics and visualization, smarter orchestrated response, anytime, anywhere collaboration, smart API integration, automated incident response, smart integration and automation. Visibility is most important in anywhere. So in cybersecurity, if you're not visible what you're doing, you'll think that, oh, we are secured. So there are a lot of companies out there we see that it's a happy new story. We don't present that. We say that, okay, this is what visible it is. So if you don't know what's going on in your environment, you will be never prepared what's going to happen. Threat intelligence is really important for uh, having a global view. Uh, there's been a lot of cases where there's information outside where the threat intelligence providers can provide such as leaked credentials in charter in the cyber forums uh, and this can tell you about latest attacks. This also includes the latest vulnerabilities and exploits. Uh, having a threat intelligence uh, can give you that information so it'll help you patch and obviously that will safeguard your um, devices and ensure that you are not uh, compromised and affected by vulnerabilities. It is very hard to achieve the capability of an in-house SOC compared to an MSSP for the very simple reason of volume this, this particular SOC that I'm calling you from today deals with hundreds of customers. They deal with thousands of alarms and they work against a commercial grade SLA. You can't do that with an in-house SOC. You don't see the volume. You can't generate that kind of automation, that kind of run books that you need, that kind of drumbeat. So to be honest with you, there are always gonna be limitations on an in-house SOC because it's stuck in a bit of a silo.